going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 48 of our Lille Career Mode, and today we have a massive, massive game to start out today. We have Moscow in the Champions League, and then we have Nantes and Lens in the league. We're one point back of PSG, one point ahead of Lyon, so it's all very, very tight at the top. We got two games there. We, you know, we should be winning, and here we are. We're one point back of Moscow, three points back of Manchester United, who play PAOK, so they should win that game and get themselves to 12. And we here have a massive, massive game. We lose this game, and we are out of the Champions League. A draw and a win against United may still not get us through. So it's it's that big of a game. A win here is <laughs> a priority. Um, so let's jump into it. We're going to jump straight into this. We want to get out of this group. Moscow, Lille. Let's go. Robinson does brilliantly here. Gets it to Samare. And now we can drag it forward, and Almada's made an excellent run here, and Almada's through on goal, and it's Almada here. Oh, that's a big save, and it's going to go in as an own goal anyway. We get a little bit of luck, but we will definitely take it. 19 minutes, Almada was through on goal. Great celebration footage here, but he's through on goal. Tries to go around the goalkeeper, curl it around. It's a good save, and it just hits the center back trying to come back and then he kind of gets tripped there by Akinfeyev and the ball just rolls its way into the back of the net just crosses the line he can't keep it out it's an Akinfeyev own goal strangely enough um, I don't think it was the center back's own goal myself but either way we have taken the lead here 1-0 that is a big big goal in the context of this group. Nicely done, Shellick. Samare gets it to Sanchez here. And he can play that through to Bodu. And Bodu touches it wide here. Nice step inside from Bodu, 2 0. Defender just got off him a little bit too much. And two goals in a couple of minutes have really set us up for the rest of this game. That's an excellent finish from Bodu, but the defender, he's had time to turn there, Bodu. Comes forward here, just stops. And look, he just keeps on rolling. I'm not sure where he's going. Not in between him and the goal. But the... F I mean, take nothing away from this finish. It's brilliant. Curls it beyond Akinfeyev. Into the side netting there. That is a big goal. 2-0. Two goals in six minutes. And we have, you know, a really good grip on this game right now. Bad giveaway here. Sanchez is on it now. Sanchez can bring this forward, gets it out to Almada, and Almada can slide it through, and it's Bodu here, and he slides it across. It's going to be a tap-in for Sanchez, and we're 3-0 up here in Russia. 34 minutes gone, and at the moment, we're really starting to take physical grip. I mean, early on, we got that goal with the own goal. It was very much back and forth. Moscow had started well, but now we're really starting to assert our dominance here. It's 3-0. It's excellent football. Too many gaps, too many runs for the Moscow defense to deal with. And on 35 minutes, we're 3-0 up in a crucial, crucial game. That's a good ball here. I couldn't switch on to get back. What a finish as well. And very, very quickly, they're back in it, Moscow. 3-1. Shkurin. Is that how you say that? S-H-K? Shkurin, Shkurin, Shkurin. Very odd. Either way, I mean, we just didn't get back in time. He saw the turn there to try and get back after he saw the gap. That's an excellent finish. But they make it 3-1. They've had good bursts in this game, so this game's definitely not over yet. And not exactly ideal to, to concede a goal so quickly after going 3-0 up. But we have to work on it right now. And hopefully we can kind of work our way back into grabbing a three-goal lead. Nicely done. Here's Ikone. It's a bit of space for Ikone to run right at him. And Ikone, can he start this half off with a bang? He can! That went near post. I didn't try and bring that near post, but it's found the back of the net. And we've restored our three-goal lead right to start this second half. Ikone just gets right in behind, up this wing... And he's just too quick for some of these center backs. Steps in. Oh, it takes a deflection. That takes it in near post. 
Not sure whether the goalkeeper would have got it or not. But the deflection takes it past. It's unlucky for the defender there, but we will definitely, definitely take it. And once again, we have a three-goal lead, and Moscow need a giant second half if they want to be ahead of us at the end of the day in the table. Corner set to come in for Moscow. Not great, but the header away is not great either. And oof, that would have been... A disappointing goal to concede there as I almost, almost give it right to them. Now they come forward again as they look for a second goal to kind of wake them up. And there it is. Shkurin with it again, his second. That's dreadful from us, really. Poor in a situation like this. Can't be doing stuff like that. Can't be giving the ball away, trying to play it out from our own box, surrounded. Can't be doing that. Shkurin grabs his second of the game. This is a great run here. That was a really great pass as well. Decent finish. But a bad, bad goal to concede considering the circumstances. Nice take. Back inside nicely. And Sanchez is making a run. And Sanchez can slip it out there. Comes back inside, and those two, there were two of them there, and they didn't split that defender, which is kind of disappointing. As that comes across, that's an excellent save. Or, not an excellent save. Was, I was hoping that got saved into the middle there, and we would have gotten a shot off from somebody who got the end of it there, but not quite. As Robinson's on it here, and he's going to have a go. And his shot gets blocked and out for a corner. And at the moment, everything is very, very tense. A lot of our chances coming quickly into the box and stuff. There's still a threat Moscow as they go the other way. And I just, <laughs> we need to finish our opportunities here. As Samari gets that, it's taken down brilliantly. Comes across to Sanchez. That's lovely football. Just couldn't quite get it. And the header from Gies is going to go over. 17 minutes to go. And now a two-goal margin here is pretty big. They beat us 2-0 the first time. I believe it's on head-to-head. Um, -head. Is the first tiebreaker, you know, a, and at minimum we have to have two goals. I believe we would have it on away goals. I'm not 100% positive on that, but I believe we would. So a two-goal margin is still really important here. Play that forward. Excellently done. Here's Shellick on it now. Seconds played in. Not ideal, but it gets a little bit lucky as it comes back to him. And at the back post, there's a run being made, and it's Robinson. Great header. And that's a big goal. 5-2. It should seal us the points, but we might also seal the goal difference in the head-to-head -head tie. That's an excellent run from Robinson there. Saw us win the ball high up the pitch. He made the run. Got ahead of everybody on this left-hand side. He's all alone out here. Sanchez with a perfect pass. And that is a really, really good header from the fullback. A really, really good header. An important header. And it's 5-2 here with 10 minutes to go. And as I said, hopefully that seals the goal difference. Because I believe we'll have the away goals even if they score one more. But it should definitely seal the three points. A minute to go here. As we still have that three-goal margin. 5-2. Love this game to end this way. But they are still attacking here, Moscow. And they've been pretty decent all day. Moving up the pitch. It's not like they're lucking out into goals here. They're playing pretty well going forward. As we get a little bit unlucky there. And Kanate gets a big touch onto that. And that is a big old save from Galini. That snuck through after the tackle. And Galini grabs it. And can he grab that? He gets a touch onto it. Deveev is going to get to this. The edge of the box. But the whistle goes... A big, big, big result in the Champions League there. Puts us two points ahead of Moscow with our final game. And if United have won their game, they're going to win the group. And hopefully they have 3-1. Now they're going to win the group. And hopefully in the second or in that last game we get a little bit of help. And they put out you know a not-so-great team. That would definitely, definitely be ideal. But... It'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait to see until next episode what kind of team they put out. But now, after that, we're back. 
we're back into that guy's left. We're back into um, the league. Braderich would like to play. He has been replaced. Robinson is now the starting left back for the time being. He's been not so great lately, Braderich. Um, and seemingly slow, but he's still a very good player. Robinson has just been the better player at the moment. We're going to bring Holzek onto the bench here as we've got Nance. And Nance, this is a team we feel we should beat. I'm going to bring Holzek out left. Kakare can have himself a start. Um, I'm going to have Gomez grab himself a start as well. Gies can come onto the bench. Um, I'm going to grab Baku a start. And Botman can have himself a start. De Ketelier, do I want to bring him onto the bench? He's starting to get unhappy, De Ketelier. De Schmetz had a really good start to his career, but he doesn't need to play all the time, so he can miss this one here. All right, let's jump into this. We're one point back at PSG, nonce Lille. Let's go. So forward. That is not exactly what I was looking for, but we're going to get a little bit lucky, and Ikone's going to get onto this. And he slides it across, and Bodu's going to get a tap in. I was hoping to just put that to Ikone's feet. It's gone beyond. And we get a little bit lucky as he gets onto it in the end. The guy couldn't quite take a hold of it. Right there, he tried to clear it. His foot kind of didn't get to the ball, and then... Ikone's pace takes him into the box, and it's a tap-in for Bodu. A little bit of luck. We've had a little bit of that lately. But, you know, we've had some unlucky days as well. So we'll definitely take it when it comes. But on seven minutes, we are 1-0 up here against Nantes. Very, very good quick start. Nicely played forward here, and it might be even quicker as Gomez is on his 2-0. Poor from Nantes. This is a team we've throttled before. They're not very great. Not very good. Not very great. As Angel Gomez makes it 2-0 under 12 minutes. An incredible start here. Good turn from Bodu. To kind of just drag his man inside just a touch. And then Gomez made an excellent run and finished it off brilliantly. 2-0 inside 10 minutes, actually. Thought we hit that on the 11th minute. It was not. Well, it's 9 minutes gone, and it is 2-0. What a start. Throw in here for Nantes, and they've given it right to us. And Holzhek is going to try and race away here, and he does. And Holzhek has the entire left side here as he gets it out to Bodu, and Bodu's through. And Bodu, 3-0 in off the post. That's an excellent finish. I didn't want to take one more touch. That's one of those touches with someone who's got this pace where that touch is right to the goalkeeper. He slows down. He sets himself, and that's a brilliant finish off the post. It's an excellent break. Holzik does well. But Bodu just sets himself, and that's a brilliant finish. No chance whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And we're cruising right now. 3-0 on 18 minutes. So he headed down. Gomez does well to touch it away. He's still holding it here. Slides it back inside, and look at the gap for Sanchez. Sanchez, 4-0. What a finish. There's so much space at the back here for Nantes. I'm not sure what the formation is or what. It's almost like they're leaving two center backs alone on the back line. It's crazy. I mean, we drag one player out there and look at the gap for the midfield runner. An excellent finish from Renato Sanchez, who just hammers that home. But this is too, too easy from Nantes, who have just not turned up. 4-0, but as I've said, we've throttled this team before. I believe we have a 9-0 against them. There's something about the way they play where they are just way too open. Raderich. Tau. Moving the ball around pretty nicely here as it comes to Guiace. And Guiace slips inside really nicely. That's a good save. Couldn't quite get it past the goalkeeper. Decent move in the end for what it was. It didn't start too great, but kind of worked it out as we moved along. Here's Holzek. Guiace, who was just standing there. Did you see that standing there? Hands behind, uh, by his hips pretty much as Holzek goes, and it's in the back of the net. 5-0. It's a good finish from him. Very nicely done. 56 minutes gone. This is helping our goal difference massively. Oh, it's a good turn inside. And he's just lost that defender. Got himself a just a bit of space to have a shot. 5-0 on 56 minutes. 
and we're cruising, really. Uh oh. Thought that was going to be a good ball for a minute. Got cut out. Oh, lovely football. Oh, that's a great touch. Oh, and he's hit the outside of the post. That was brilliant. Really, really well done by Nantes, who've put together nothing all game long except that particular move. Unfortunately for them, they hit the post. It's just not going to happen for them. And it's come to De Quetelier here, and he grabs a goal at the other end. Post at one end, number six at the other. De Quetelier grabs one. Got a little bit of a dance in here as the Lille crowd love it. Excellent, excellent stuff. And it's a good quick move up the other end after the post. It's a good ball. De Quetelier gets into the good spot. It is a good low finish. Center back got nowhere near De Quetelier, really. He's not super quick either. So, surely worrying for nonce, but we don't mind. 6 0 as we approach the last 20 minutes. to touch onto it. Holzschek does super well. And he is going to race on. And Holzschek just kind of race into the box here. Steps back inside. Nicely done. What a finish. Just hammers that into the roof of the net for seven. Ten minutes to go and we continue to score goals here in Nantes. They surely just want this done. I don't even know how you go about playing for the last 10-20 minutes of a game like this. But this is excellent run from Holzhek. Gets onto it, cuts back inside, and then he just hammers that into the roof. No chance for the goalkeeper. Brilliantly done. And on 81 minutes, it is 7-0. Oh, what a take that is from Kakare. Incredible, really, as Gies is on it. Look for one more chance before the whistle goes. It's not going to come by the looks of it, and... We are going to come away with an a very impressive 7-0. As Bradridge clips that in, and the header comes down, and it's an easy enough save for Shevchenko. 7-0, the final score. Very, very nicely done against the... Just not a great team in general. I mean, it's just not... They had that one shot. Really good move, to be fair, as Marseille beat Lyon. So now we have a four-point gap over Lyon. Hopefully PSG suffer a similar... Fate in terms of drop points. They do not, so we're one back of them still, but... You know, a four-point gap between us and Leon is nice. Keep your feet on the ground, Braderich. Keep it up. He's not. He's just not super quick and, you know... Robinson just feels better. He just does, simple as that. But here we are, Lens Leal. This is another big game as we continue to try and fight here. Leon do win their game. Um, and now it comes down to us. To us and uh, PSG to continue winning. But we ought to try it here. Everyone's fit. Everyone's ready to go. Let's jump into this. Lens Leal. Let's go. Oh, nice takeaway there by Bodu. Does brilliantly here. And there's five at the back. And Bodu can have a run at a couple of center backs here. He's not going to have any full backs on him, and that's a good save. What a start that would have been. Five at the back is perfect for players like Bodu. You know, pacey, tough kind of players. I mean, he's a big guy, Bodu. But he's obviously his, his best quality athletically is his pace. And... When you play three center backs, it means none of the outside fullbacks cover you on your runs in the channel. Which means you are always going to, you know, get a couple extra steps in there with your pace. Obviously, it's a, it's a little bit tighter in there with three center backs. So you're going to have less space to work with. But if you're quick enough and you're able to go through spaces like that, it's a, quite an advantage. Samare played it up forward to Almada. And Almada gets a touch on here, and it comes to Sanchez. Great touch from Sanchez. Grid finish as well. Just toe pokes it past the goalkeeper. Not toe pokes it, but he just pokes it past the goalkeeper. It's 1-0. A great save at one end, and we go down the other and score. That just happened in the nonce game, though that game was done when it happened. This is a 0-0 game, and that is a big swing. 
Comes forward, Almada just slips it in, just gets there, Sanchez, and then goalkeeper rushes out, and he just lifts it over his leg. It's a good finish from Sanchez. Good close control in a tight area with a man on your back. Thankfully for us, he, in this team, is pretty much, I mean, he's an elite midfielder in this game. Especially the way he's developed and showed it right there. 1-0 is Bamba. Step inside nicely, and he's racing forward with it. He slides it out to Almada. Nice touch. Good finish. Calm finish from Almada. Two quick goals here. And now we have a grip on this game as all of a sudden we're playing really, really well and continuing to play well. Bamba gets into that space, and that center back that was marking Almada stepped in to cover Bamba. And that space opened up. It's a good touch here, and this is a very composed finish. Just kind of slots it past the goalkeeper. Very nicely done. And it's 2-0 here on 33 minutes. Nice nice gap there we have between us and Lens, obviously. And as I said, we're just playing well and, and continuing to play well in long, long spurts, which is obviously great to see. We're not having as many of those games as we've had the last couple of years where, you know, we're playing really poorly, you know, out of nowhere kind of th kind of deal. But, you know, we'll keep our uh, fingers crossed for that. Couldn't quite do anything there with that. Slip forward, Sotaka. Oh, that's a really good ball, and Galini once again coming up with another save. He's had a... Good game here, Galini. Not very often on this difficulty do you notice the goalkeepers, but he's made a couple of good saves. And at the moment, keeping us ahead as that comes across, and Sanchez is making the run. It comes to Sanchez here, slides back post, or slides it back post, slid it back post, in between, slids it back post, 3-0. Bodu with the goal, and that might do it. That's excellent football. Quick up the pitch. It's a tap-in for Bodu. But it's just good football all around here. Amada, good turn. Gets it out there. First time ball across. First time tap in. Lovely stuff. And we're 3-0 up on 56 minutes. Nice play. Really good play out of the back here. And Bodu one-on-one -on -one with the center back back here. And it comes to Bodu for game over. Definitely game over now. An hour gone. He was one-on-one -on -one with that center back back there who was just playing him on. Very strange. I'm not sure what they're thinking defensively, but Bodu's alone there now. Just got to play it into space. Bodu gets to it nine times out of ten. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred against the center back. And then he was away and finished it off. Lovely stuff on the hour. 4 nil. He is. Not sure why that pass went backwards, but it's come to Gies again. And Gies races into the box. Slips it back inside to Schmidt. Oh, locked away, but it's not going to change anything here as we are going to come away with a 4-0 victory over Lenz. A very good performance, a clean sheet. And we continue to keep pace with PSG at the top of the table at minimum. So, you know, one point is probably still the gap as I hit the table there. The camera probably shook a little bit, but... PSG drew with Nantes, a team we just beat 7-0. They go on the road and draw 0-0. And that is going to put us top of the table. That is going to end the day top of the table. Look at that, a one-point gap between us and PSG. Four between us and Lyon. And all of a sudden, the pressure's back on. We were just talking about getting into good positions and starting to put away poor games. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. We have the, you know, we're doing a little bit better in goals against um, this year at the moment. I mean, we normally, you know, we concede a lot of goals, but we've been much, much better. And that looks to be the difference as we're still continuing to score goals. We scored 80 goals through the first 16 games, which is ridiculous. But that is huge. Top of the table. As we approach Christmas time, next episode, look at that. So we have Satetien, and then we have Man United, Wren, and we'll see 
how we want to do that Nim game. We'll probably we may get four games in there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but you know, a really good spot to be in. Let's check the youth squad stuff here before we go. We'll go all the way to the bottom and go up the other way. That's probably the best way to do it. Nothing there out of France. And then out of the United States, we had one right here. We'll sign him up. And that will do that. So we've got one. And then I believe this one's in, yes, Ghana. That's actually, this is actually a really bad crop. That doesn't happen very often. Really bad one. I mean, the top one's like 76, 74 there. That was a really bad prop, but we did get one. We can check our youth squad here. Not sure how much use our youth squad will be going forward, but I mean, there are a lot of good players here who, you know, who could turn into really good players. All of them still have potential of 90 at minimum, and there are seven of them here. So, I mean, so that's a pretty good spot to be in this lad right here. He's 18. Doesn't look too, too bad. Four star weak foot at right back or center back. Where he's six foot three, where he can play anywhere. I mean, that's that's an excellent prospect right there, guys. But that is going to do it for the end of this video. Top of the table, going into December. That is an excellent, excellent spot to be in, guys. But that is going to be it. I hope you folks, of course, have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.